perhaps I'm getting a bit darker. You know, it is basically almost summertime. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shay Yi and this is The Daily Shay Yi. On this channel, we talk about all things fashion, beauty, how to look good, and ultimately how to feel good. Today is a beauty video and I'm gonna be taking y'all through Kosas Cosmetics. I got the opportunity to work with Kosas last year in October. They extended their Revealer Concealer, which is one of their most popular products. I had the opportunity to model with them. So if you go to the Sephora site or the, you know, Kosas Beauty site, you'll see my face on there. Kosas is a clean beauty brand and also they're kind of very focused on very like fresh face looks. It's not really like a Fenty Beauty or like a NARS. It's very much in the realm of like milk makeup, Glossier, that sort of brand. But the thing about these brands, a lot of times they have a tendency to not think about darker skin tones. And that is unfortunate because there are so many dark skinned women who like that look. Like not every dark skinned woman wants to just like have a full face. A lot of us like that sort of very natural, fresh face look. So obviously these brands are catching on. I know Ilia Beauty recently extended their shade range. Kosas does have a pretty good range of shades. And so I wanted to just show like, is Kosas black girl friendly? Like, let's be honest, is it black girl friendly or no? I am happy that I have basically their full line of products here. The two products that I have not yet tried is their brow product, which just launched yesterday so when this video goes up it launched on tuesday and then this cloud set powder that i believe launched a few weeks ago but everything else i've had the opportunity to just test on my face just to see so that is the full intro Woof. without further ado let's just get right into the video all right so the first thing we got to do is prime now i don't know if kosas has a primer per se but i don't have it with me so we're just gonna keep with the purple theme you see i'm wearing purple i freaking love this sweater i'll link it below because it i literally wear it so often and it's very perfect for spring because kosas their brow product and that cloud set powder all has like this purple hue and so i figured <laughs> why not why not you know match i'm gonna take this tatcha liquid canvas because one it's purple and it matches my outfit but also their like regular base canvas silk base canvas bomb love that primer so much also ignore my nail give me a beat primer is on so kosas has these foundations it is their tinted face oil so i guess it's technically not even foundation i have the shade 8.7 and 8.2 so i like to mix them up because 8.2 is a bit more neutral while 8.7 is a bit more red and in all my other previous videos i usually mix neutral base and a red base foundation anyway to get my perfect shade because i'm a random in between shade and it's kind of annoying y'all hear that she liquidy comes out like it's she's liquidy i usually just take more red foundation and i like to apply that around my mouth area because that's the place that it has a tendency to start looking gray and that's not cute i want qualm about the tinted face oil is that it does not have a pleasant smell <laughs> it smells kind of like paint the coverage is pretty so i'm using a brush but you know Let's just see what applying it with the fingers looks like. I'm not a fan of applying stuff with my fingers just cause I do feel like it can be kind of splotchy, but that's 8.7. So as you kind of see, it sort of balances out down here. What I'm gonna do is take a bit more of 8.7 and then I'm gonna take 8.2, drop it, drop it, and it gives me that shade, which should match my face. We'll see. So let's see. When I apply it with my finger, this is what it looks like applying it with my finger. I actually think I'm gonna put a little bit of 8.7 because perhaps I'm getting a bit darker. You know, it is basically almost summertime. Let's just go ahead and take some of that off because that already looks way too light. Like looking at my forehead, forehead is dark, but I do have bronzer here, so that's okay. I'm just gonna lightly dust on my forehead because I am gonna go on with bronzer up there. So this is what the base is looking like. Now, usually my next step is to go in with a darker concealer just to kind of like cover up any dark circles under my eyes and then go in with a lighter concealer to highlight. Now, I don't have a darker like Kosas concealer because I never got sent that. I just got sent basically my shade ranges plus like a highlight concealer. I could have gotten a darker concealer for this video, but because we don't have that, we are going to use the Sephora Clear and Cover Concealer in the shade Coffee. It's a little on the red side which i do like because again helps to sort of balance out 
that color under my eyes. I'm gonna take a beauty sponge and just blend that out. Their Revealer Concealer is one of their most popular products, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and this is the shade 8.2. Unlike the tinted face oil, it is actually pretty thick, and it does have a decent amount of coverage. I'm just going to apply that as I usually apply my highlight. So this shade is very much like a kind of golden a bit, which I'm not mad at. I think that golden, especially for summertime, is ideal. I'm going to blend that out and y'all gonna see how nicely it blends out. Like, I see why this is so highly rated. Oh, it blends out so nicely. Oof. So Kosas has their liquid cream blush highlight situation. If I can get it open, I love the packaging. You can probably kind of see that I've already used it. And this is their shade Velvet Melon. So I'm going to take the blush side because I want to apply the blush on my cheeks. And I usually like to apply my blush right on my temple. Don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. And I just like to stipple, 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 stipple into my temple. The shade is pretty light but it still shows, like I can see it on my skin right now. I am not a highlight girl, but this is a liquid highlight. I guess for this video, it's a liquid highlight. I honestly don't really wear highlight like that anymore because I just don't feel the need to, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put like, so I just put a little bit of that highlight here, just like right there, just literally a little bit. And you could barely kind of, you could kind of see it, not really. I mean, it gives like an additional glow. Not actually mad at it. The color was a little like, mm, you know, like that. So we're gonna set our under eyes because usually I will go in with bronzer first, but we need to set our under eyes before, you know, they start creasing up. Kosa sent me three of their cloud set powders. From here to here, we have Comfy, Breezy, and Feathery. I'm leaning towards Comfy and Feathery. Breezy is just looking a bit too pale for my personal preference. You know, let's go with Feathery under my eyes. So here's Feathery. Okay, this not bad. No powder, powder, no powder. I think that did a pretty good job of setting the eyes without like taking away from its like kind of natural glow. My only problem with powders like this is that it's basically a pressed powder. And so I'm like rubbing my brush on it, but because my brush is also picking up kind of like the color off of my face, it's sort of transferring on to this powder. That's my one qualm. I feel like I'm noticing it kind of picking up right here. I'm just trying to not sweep, but just like pat. I do like the powder. See how it's picking up my face color. Close as has this bronzer. I'm so sad because one day it dropped from my little vanity situation and it broke. Not the actual product itself, so that's great, but the actual like casing just cook, but the product still stayed intact. This shade is the shade Deep and I'm not sure how many shades they have. I'll put it down below, but I believe they have three or four different shades and I'm pretty sure deep might be either the darkest or the second darkest. So with bronzers, you already know, there's still a long way to go. Other brands have definitely stepped up. I mean, Menta Cosmetics has bronzers for dark skin, but this one is pretty good. It has a pretty good distribution of color and it's not too red. This one has a decent like kind of balance between giving me the sun kiss look while also giving me kind of like neutral-ish. I particularly really like to do the jawline, especially when I'm wearing this foundation. So I like to go from here and bring it down here. Now to finish up with this powder. The powder is actually doing a pretty good job. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually doing a pretty good job of providing a bit of mattifying without stripping kind of like the natural glow that the tinted oil gave me. So this is what the base is looking like. This is again, tinted face oil, concealer, blush, a little bit of highlight, the powder and the bronzer. And right now I am not mad at this. Kosas just released their brow trio and it's basically a brow pencil, brow mousse, and then a clear brow gel. For this video, I'm not gonna use the mousse. They gave me brown, black, and then black. Now, I definitely do not use black on my eyebrows because my hair, my natural hair is like a 1B shade and 1B is basically like an off black mixed with a little bit of brown. It has a spoolie on the end and it has like the product on the other end. It does have a more like flat tip. I think this flat tip is perfect for kind of getting those like sparse hairs and then kind of doing more shading. So we'll see, step one. Looking good, looking good. Then I like to just brush that up a little bit. 
Step two, I just like to fill it in. So this is why I think this kind of brush works well. I'm just basically filling in where I have a little bit of gap and then kind of creating more fluffiness in the front of my brow. Once I reach my desired consistency, I'm gonna go on with the clear brow. So I will say that this color is a bit darker than the Benefit color that I use. The Benefit is a little bit more brown than this one. I'm not mad at this one though. Like. I'm not mad at the way it looks on my on my face, but I am noticing that it's just a tad, it's like a tad bit darker. Here is the brow gel. Again, it's clear, it's just clear. I really like this packaging. It's very cute. <laughs> it's just very cute packaging. So I'm just taking that brow gel and I'm basically pushing my brows upward because I really want that sort of like full brow look that doesn't look too perfectly done which is why i left the ends as as so so that is the brow i do like the color payoff but the benefit one is really hard to top i mean like that one is just really good so process has these kind of eye pigment thingies and they are oil based it's like water and oil based and so i have used these before but i have the shade element and then i have the shade copper halo so they're literally like meant to be swipes of color on the eyes i think i'm gonna take element because it's more of like a darker brown this has a very interesting smell interesting interesting i'm just gonna sweep that on my eye as you can see it's very liquidy it's hella liquidy actually luckily my pointer finger <laughs> has no nail on it so i'm just gonna blend that in that's it i'm just gonna take a blending brush i don't really know if there's any color on this blending brush i honestly don't remember the last time i used it but i'm just using this just to kind of i don't know blend out the color a little bit kosas also has mascara and it is their the big clean mascara i actually really love this mascara it is very voluminous she is voluminous i haven't worn her in a minute because i got my milk mascara kush one and i've been actually wearing that with another um, drugstore L'Oreal Mega Volume Mascara, but I just remember how much I love this Kosas one. It is great. So here's the brush. It's kind of like a baby kind of crescent moon shape it's in the shape of your eyelashes, and it sort of just cups them and pulls them out. It gives them volume at the base and then gives it a bit of extension as you elongate it out. Finally, I'm gonna go in with lip products. So Kosas has two different types of lip products, or maybe three. They have a kind of like a chapstick, like a tinted chapstick situation. Then they have lipstick, which I have here. I'm not gonna wear this lipstick because it's red and I'm not in the mood to wear red lipstick today. <laughs> then they have lip gloss. And when I say I am obsessed with this lip gloss, this freaking lip oil that they have. So in an effort to not use any other lip product, I'm just gonna line my lips and then apply the clear and see what we're working with. It's probably gonna give a very 90s vibe, but I think that works for today's look. This liner is not from Kosas. Here she is. You see how the lip gloss applies? It is so nice. And that is my full face of Kosas Cosmetics, y'all. I am not mad at the way my face is looking right now. Like my face actually looks pretty damn good. I mean, this is giving me coverage and I don't feel like I have a whole lot of makeup on. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this, Kosas. Okay, 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 okay. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I will say my favorite products by far are the concealer. 10 out of 10 for the concealer. 10 out of 10 for the mascara. The powder, I would give that a 7.5 out of 10, mainly because I wish it was a loose powder. I think a loose powder would be phenomenal, but the coverage and what it does for the, you know, the pressed powder, I think is good. The brow product, I think I will also give it a 7.5 out of 10, just mainly because clear brow gel could be just a little bit more holding. <laughs> it could have a little bit more hold. But I think that's the point. I think it's the point is just for it to kind of look very fresh. So that's fair. You know, I will definitely use the brow gel. I will definitely use the brow pencil because why not i mean it's here so i'm gonna use it now i'm gonna go through my day and then i'm gonna come back and share with y'all what this face is looking like at the end of the day okay all right brb well not brb but see y'all soon see y'all later see y'all soon all right here we are i think it's been like two hours or so i went to go get some food and i had to put on my mask for a little bit so it's like there's a mask mark right here all right, so here's what we're looking like now. I'm going to dab some powder just to see how it, okay. I'm using that same um, 
cloud set powder that I showed earlier in the video. I'm trying to bring it up. This one right here, I'm just doing dabbing motions to kind of get rid of the oil. Because I was starting to oil up a bit. I feel like I really like this and I think I'll like it for a lot for the summer. So I think I'm going to just get a darker shade. Because this shade is like my shade right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a darker shade for the summer. All right, so this is what my face is looking like at the end of the day. I've been wearing this for about seven hours now, which is exactly the amount of time I wanted to just test it. Because that's usually the amount of time that I usually am wearing my makeup. And so as you can kind of see, I am very oily. Now, I'm a naturally oily person, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So my natural oils always see through at like the fourth hour with most of the foundations that I wear. And I was definitely expecting to do it with this one because it is a face oil and not technically a foundation. So the fact that it's not like a super, super oil slick is very surprising. But I did powder one time so that probably helped the situation just a little bit more just maybe a little bit i do have to say that i think the tatcha primer has a lot to do with the fact that i'm not like extremely oily so shout out to tatcha that primer is bomb it's the longest i've worn all these products on my face at one time so yeah this is the final look of the kosas full face so that is the end of this video y'all i appreciate y'all for watching and i'll catch y'all in my next one until next time bye <laughs>